to work out for women, lose weight, feel and look good for women over 49. I am your host, Susana Lopez, and today I want to dedicate this episode to all women that need a break, that need a little holiday for themselves. And now is the time to do it. Now, this is the time to do it. Imagine for a moment that you wash just like water. Imagine that you are water coming all the way down from the top of a mountain, down through a river, going around the rocks, going under the earth to the final destination, the sea. And imagine that you as water are perfect. You have completed the journey from going from the top of the mountain down through the river, going around the rocks, under the earth, to your final destination, the sea. And imagine, just like water, you evaporate like in a hot sunny day. And just like water, you're waiting for something magical to happen and come back again. Imagine for a moment that you can be just like water, going with the flow, with the flow of life, through the mountains, all the way down, through the rocks, under the earth, and wait for that moment to just happen, to become air, and come back again. And now, from that flow of being like water, I want to share with you the true keys to a woman's self-empowerment. What happens to your body is your responsibility. What happens to your body is not your fault. The concept that you can physically see anything outside of you that is no you means that we are a mirror what happens on the inside always reflects what is happening in the outside this means that perception is projection that is why what we look for we will find It may surprise you that we are conditioned through family, traditions, belief, social, economic, customs, country of birth, life events, media, friends and education. To leave out much of the conscious and unconscious information we are presented with every day. That is why we are used to always deleting and getting rid of the same information every time. And that is also why some people always see and focus on what there is so bad and sad and angry and depressed about life. They delete most of the fun and good and that there is to see. They very often see more unhappiness and unfairness in the world, in media, in books, in the internet, in friends, in family in traditions and even in the past, present and future events. Most people don't even realize that they are doing it because they have been conditioned over time. It has become a normal habit for them. But on the other hand, other people mostly see happiness, fun, love, abundance, magic and opportunities everywhere. They consciously and unconsciously delete the things that will not make them feel happy and focus on loving, joyful and fun moments in life. At some time or another, we all need to make a little bit more effort to focus on the good things. It's like training any muscle. Repetitions make the muscle stronger and more flexible. This is true on many different levels. 
You may even recall that in the past it was easy for you to make excuses, to not exercise and have a balanced diet or take action to achieve your goals. This is because in the past you did overtrain your excuse muscle. Positive thinking is also a muscle and it can be trained with exercise. From today, we can start strengthening your positive thinking muscle. Consciously and unconsciously, think for a moment to be like water and from today, avoid surrounding yourself with bad news or things or thoughts than trying your excuse muscle. Now you can make a conscious effort to start uplifting conversations with yourself and others. For example, start admiring how well you and someone is doing and talk about that with a friend and talk in positive way about yourself. You can start the conversation telling them how many minutes you exercise today. You can talk about how you start feeling your muscles strengthening and focus in the smaller things in life that are good. Like how you set up your home or then you're feeling a bit more energy and comment in how proud you are of yourself or then you are making so much more effort for your own benefit, for your own health. From today, Now, this is the time to do it. And it's like you can choose to keep your eyes half open to look for what you want or to look for what you don't want. You can give permission to yourself to open your eyes now, to focus and look at the world in a new and better way. Yes, we can change our focus. If you could stop for a moment and see what's been the real focus in your health and fitness and where it all come from. You may have put all your effort, focus, attention in your family, in money, in career, in study, in others, in being successful without meaning to. You neglected your health and your body. Whatever you focus is okay, really, it is okay. It is okay because you can take action at any given moment. Think for a moment in this question. Are you at cause or are you at the effect of things in your health and fitness life? For example, being at cause, it means that you have created what is in your body in your work, in your health, in your home, and in your life. The statement that you can say to yourself is, I have the responsibility to start taking actions and steps towards my health and fitness goals. In the other hand, you can be on the effect in the excuse muscle. Being at the effect in the statement, it will look like more. I will have lost weight than my exercise, being healthy, being successful, had what I want, but, but I find it really hard, but I'm always hungry, but I don't have the time, but I need to cook for the entire family, but I am too busy at work, but I don't have the motivation, but my friends are busy and I don't want to do it alone, but I just can't do it. Give permission to yourself to be at cause. I repeat for you, so important to give permission to yourself to be at cause. Being the cause in your health and fitness and in your life is an art of looking at the world in a way that will support you in being healthy 
active, having your ideal weight, feeling confident, getting what you want, and being uplifted and empowered. When you are at the coast, you control and see all the excuses that you may have had and you take responsibility for the things that happen in your life, body, mind, spirit. You take action to make a change and improve for the better. If you want to improve, then you, then you see in the mirror, you will first take responsibility and conscience open your eyes to change what you are focused on. Say and feel this, I have created what is in my life, I have created my body shape and weight. I know that sometimes it's hard to believe that at some level we have chosen to create everything in our world. Whatever you did it with conscious thinking or not, but if you can see the real true magic, the grander purpose of choosing anything, then and only then you will have the key to self-empowerment. Instead of becoming a victim, you become a winner in the most positive way, winning yourself. So the true keys to a woman's self-empowerment are what happens to your body is your responsibility. What happens to your body is not your fault. What happens in your life is your responsibility. What happens in your life is not your fault. Most people ask themselves, why did I create this? But you ask yourself, how did I create this health, body, life, relationship, work, reality? And what do I want to create instead? So what would you like to create instead? When you take responsibility and make the choice to let the past go, you can then let go of the anger, the fear, the anger of the fear of being hurt, being in pain, being overweight, or too beautiful, too fit, too healthy. Just like that, being like water, focus in your destination, going around the rocks, the excuses, the bad news, keeping the focus on your destination, on your health and fitness goals in yourself, going under the earth, focus in the positive of your life, going inside and release that that no longer serve you and keep focus in your goal in the power that you have to get to your destination of health and fitness goals in the power that you have as a human being as a mind body and soul and just like that you can be like water I wish that today you have found a little break that holidays to reset your focus and your focus in the things that you want the most. We are really looking forward to see you back in our next episode. Sending you extra love and light. Bye for now.